All aboard for a Hickling Broad. Start her up. As accolades go for a decade or so of hard graft, this is some endorsement for Norfolk Wildlife Trust, and it comes from nature itself. Painstaking management by the team here at Hickling Broad in Norfolk has this year produced the result they'd longed for. Three feet tall, five feet wingspans, spoonbills breeding this year in the Broads for the first time in around 400 years. A telescope reveals three chicks called teaspoons because that's just what their beaks look like. The birds came back in again uh, in June, done the business, went down on eggs. A couple of weeks later, we had uh, young spoonbills, chicks. Their first T teaspoons, teaspoons, no less. Yeah, the, the first in the Norfolk Broad since the mid 17th century. Uh, seven weeks on, they are out of the nest and flying around the upper fern. Spoonbills, filmed here in France. There's a clue in the name with their remarkable bills designed to sift snails and shrimps from mudflats. Hunted to extinction in the UK, painstaking conservation work is beginning to reap real benefits and they now breed, but in just a handful of sites across Britain. We do a combination of allowing natural processes to happen across the reserve. Uh, we then do sympathetic management. We try to create a mosaic of various stages of wetland communities and uh, reed bed structures, allowing scrub to develop in reed beds to cater for e the increasing egrets, spoonbills and herons. Right, if you go down to the woods today, <laughs> this yep. is quite a structure. 60 feet. Yeah. And uh, I hope you'll be impressed with the view. Right, we've reached the top. Oh, that is, that's magnificent, isn't it? Impressive. Atop the viewing platform, you gain a sense of one of the biggest reed bed areas left in Britain. But the climate crisis now means these reed beds are hosting species undreamt of a decade ago. Distant, frequent droughts in the Mediterranean is driving birds that you'd normally associate with the Mediterranean north. So we see here um, uh, ibises, great white egret, uh, cattle egret, purple heron. These are all birds that 50 years ago we would associate with the Mediterranean. Human life, of course, still wafts gently through this remarkable resurgent biosphere, now celebrating its spoonbill breakthrough. And it's far from the only success like this. It's only a few years ago that another magnificent wetland bird began breeding in this part of East Anglia. And just up the road, in recent years, a Mediterranean exotic has settled down to breed in the UK. Cranes. <laughs> Bigger and even more spectacular than spoonbills. Also slaughtered to extinction in Britain several centuries ago. Now back and thriving, Norfolk a stronghold. 71 pairs bred in the UK last year, producing 39 chicks. A sudden new arrival too, bee eaters, breeding for the first time in Norfolk just last year. Outrageous colours, but an ominous climate crisis message, perhaps. 50 years ago when I started bird watching, I never thought I'd hear someone tell me that bee eaters are nesting in the UK. Very exotic, and we associate them with the Mediterranean. Um, we're not clear why bee eaters are here, um, but it seems fairly certain that, that, that climate is driving them further north. So species brought back from extinction, refugee species fleeing the heat and drought of the climate crisis. For now, successful conservation in Norfolk is giving them a space. <laughs>